Hey everyone, this is Dan from MMORPGtips.com. This video is part of the Ultimate WoW Gold Guide that you can find on MMORPGtips.com. I will also put a link in the description for the guide. I've been posting a lot of dungeon farming videos lately, so I just wanted to make a video that's a bit different. And that is uh, open world chest farming. So for this one, what you want to do is get gather mate and uh, the gather mate data add-on. I will put links in the description for those as well. And then you want to import the gather mate to data into gather mate. So you uh, will have all the nodes on the map. And in the settings, you want to filter it to show uh, chests on the map. As you can see on the map, all the chests are marked with the red little uh, chest icons. You can do this on any ca character, but you should use an outlaw rogue, since they can also uh, find the chests on the minimap. When you're close to a chest that ha has spawned, you will see a yellow little dot on the minimap if you're an outlaw rogue. I don't have a rogue, but I just use class trial characters, those work fine as well. Just remember to uh, mail all your loot to uh, one of your other characters before the class trial uh, time is up. The best zones for farming chests are in Outland and in Northrend. For me, some zones seem to be better than others. Like in Hellfire Peninsula, I uh, never seem to find any chests. But every time I go here to Sangar Marsh, I find, uh, usually find like 2-4 to four chests every time. But what I ideally like to do is that I like to fly over uh, the whole of Outland to every location on the entire continent. It actually doesn't uh, take that as much time as it might seem. And then just delete everything there and you can do the same in North Run. Just uh, hit up the entire continent and uh, try to uh, pick up uh, all, the, all the chests that have spawned. You will get a rare item from every chest. Think so at least. I have. Uh, I think I've gotten a rare item from every single chest uh, that I've looted in both those uh, continents. Of course, some of them aren't uh, worth uh, as much as others. Uh, many are only worth a few hundred, but you can get valuable items that are worth uh, a lot, uh, ten tens of thousands. Many of these items also have a pretty high sell rate and the competition on the auction house uh, for these items is probably not as high as uh, some of the transmog that you, uh, that's common to farm in, uh, in dun legacy dungeons. I also just think this is a, a fun way to farm uh, once in a while to kind of break up the monotony of uh, farming uh, dungeons. If you want more uh, gold making locations, uh, head over to the Ultimate WoW Gold Guide on MMORPG Tips. I'll be continuing to post a lot of videos for that on this channel uh, in the near future. All suggestions and questions for that guide is much appreciated, as it's a constant work in progress. Likes, dislikes, comments and subscribes on the YouTube channel is also much appreciated. So get your rogue, head over to Northrend or Outland and uh, pick up some chests for some loot. And I hope you get some good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.